guys, welcome to my 2023 what I got for Christmas haul. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. I just want to say I'm so grateful and so thankful for everything that I received and everyone that got me something. I could not be more thankful, could not be more grateful. I literally love every single thing that I got. I also wanted to mention that this video is not only my Christmas haul, but the second half of this video is going to be like my Christmas Eve and Christmas Day vlog because I decided to vlog those two days for Vlogmas. I'll try to like a little timestamp thing in the description where like you can see where it switches over. But without further ado, let's get into our little... Christmas haul. I'm gonna start off with what I got in my stocking because stockings low-key the most underrated part of Christmas. On Christmas morning when I got my stocking, I looked at it, there was like a straw sticking out of it, and I was like, hmm. So I pulled it out and I was like, I knew it was a cup. But look at the brand of that. Look at that brand, it's Chamberlain Coffee. Also, yes, there is coffee inside of it because I am a raging coffee addict. Only some of the time, though. I love coffee and I love, 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 love Ember Chamberlain. So Chamberlain Coffee. I knew I was getting some things from Chamberlain Coffee, but I didn't know I was getting this tumbler when I got it in my stocking. I was like, oh, it's like doesn't like condensate, so it's not like wet all the time, which like I hate cups that are wet. Like my Starbucks cups, they get wet. I just said wet way too many times in one sentence. Speaking of Chamberlain Coffee, the next thing I got in my stocking were these three little... Chamberlain coffee like bars. I didn't even know she made these. I thought she just made like coffees and like cups. But apparently she makes like caffeinated. Hello, you're gonna focus. Apparently she makes like these little caffeinated bars too. They're verb caffeinated energy bar in the flavor of vanilla latte. And apparently each bar has like the equivalent of like one shot of espresso in it. That was kind of like the candy in my stocking because I didn't get candy. So the next thing I got in my stocking was this Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. Not Your Mother's and Amika are my two favorite dry shampoo brands so I'm so excited that I got this. One thing about me is that my hair gets oily really fast. Sometimes you wake up and your hair is oily but you don't have time to wash it so this, this will save my life forever and ever and always. Then I got this EOS shaving cream. This is their vanilla one and if you've never tried EOS like shaving creams or lotions, there, at least try it. They smell, you can't smell it. Anyways, you get the point. They smell literally heavenly. And these are the only shaving creams I will literally use. Like this is the only brand of them because these are that good. Funny story, my mom was like, she was like, I was looking in the shower like to see what products you use. And she was like, I saw that this was like literally running out. Like I had this exact shaving cream in my shower right now. And she's like, I could tell you were running out of it. I just decided to go and like repurchase it for you. So I was so excited when I saw this. Like, then the next thing I got is a pair of scissors. Not only am I a raging coffee addict, but I'm like a raging like low key online shopping addict too. But I get a lot of packages, right? and i feel like i'm always stealing scissors to open them so my dad was like he was like let's get you some scissors westcott since 1872 eight inch bent scissors so i don't know i feel like i own no scissors so this is perfect next i got two pairs of gloves i got this light pink pair and this like it looks kind of funky on the camera but it's like a hot pink in person loving the light pink as you can tell it's been my color of the month recently apparently it's cold here where i live obviously it's winter no doubt no well i run like outside like i run track and I practice when it's like raining and cold or when it's just like super freezing my hands like die a little bit inside so i wanted to get me some gloves next thing my second i got were these majestic little bible tabs i don't know i mentioned that i wanted these for my bible because my old bible i had when i was little had like bible tabs on i don't know if you know bible tabs are but they're basically where you can like see like flip to the different places in your bible really easily like some of the books of the bible are hard to find so this will be helpful for when i'm driving my bible I'm so excited to put these on next i got this little chapstick candy cane these are the best my mom and my sister and i share love for these like peppermint ones so they're so good and you can only get them at christmas so i'm so excited next i got a little elf eyelash curler it's so cute this is my favorite eyelash curler ever it's like three dollars or something i think I own like four of these honestly at this point i always see this everywhere with me and i always lose them like i feel like i have one in my backpack one in my lunchbox one in my makeup kit like, i have one of these literally everywhere now i can add one more to the collection but this eyelash from american eagle i got this little black mini skirt it's kind of hard to tell on camera this is real professional showing i know there's like a little slit you can't tell it's built-in shorts and it's like super stretchy i thought it would be cute to wear with like a sweater and like some black tights and like little boots to church or something okay then this is like the thing i'm most excited about i got these light pink corduroy baggy and wide leg and bubble these are next thing for clothing i've got Pumi. Pume, I don't know how to say it, but I've actually seen a lot of influencers work with this brand. I was actually looking for like a Skims inspired like bodysuit. So I got this. I haven't actually tried this on yet, so hopefully it fits. I don't know what size I got. And I heard good things about the brand from influencers. So we'll see if they're lying or not. So you tell camera, but it's a little white square neck bodysuit and it's so stretchy and so soft. 
but hopefully it fits you well. The next thing I got was this little candle from White Barn, which is basically, I'm pretty sure, like the spawn of Bath and Body Works. My White Barn's right beside my Bath and Body Works, so I'm assuming it's just like a brand line. I don't really know. I got the Champagne Toast candle. Did I buy it because it's pink? Yes, but did I also buy it because it smells really good? Yeah, so like win win. Let's do a toast sniff test. This scent is so good. I have the perfume of it, and I think this is even better than like, the perfume embodiness thing. Just smell that. It's so good. It's a triple wick candle. I love candles. I have like 6,000 million, trillion, bajillion candles, and this is just adding to the collection. Next up, I've got two devotionals. Um, I actually got one for my parents and then one from my grandma. I don't know which one gave me which, but I know I got two devotionals, so one from one, one from another. When I read, can I speak? No. When I read my Bible at home, it's hard to like know what to read. Like, so that's why I love devotionals. It helps to like break down what you're reading and like apply it to your life even better which is super nice i got this one which is by lisa harper it's the jesus devotional scandalously devoted conspiracy i don't know like it's like a devotional this one i got is actually by sadie robertson i've heard nothing but great things about her she's supposed to be really really good so i'm excited to try this one did i flash my address i'm trying not to flash my address i've had a running obsession with glossier for literally years i think every year since 2020 i've gotten at least one thing from glossier for christmas i was thinking about in the shower last night so we obviously had to continue the tradition this year but i literally love their stuff it's so good I will show you what I got regardless, even though I'm kind of upset. Last year that I didn't get a pink bubble mailer. The first thing they sent me was a little stick. Every year they do like a little special sticker. This one's their winter 2023 one. Holographic. I don't know what you call this. The first thing I got was the Lash Slick Mascara. This is like their iconic mascara. But I actually got it in brown, which is really interesting. I've never actually tried a brown mascara before, so I'm really excited. I love the applicator on it. It's like a super good light mascara. Then the next thing I got from them was their iconic perfume. This is what I really, really wanted. I have been hearing nothing but good things about the perfume. Glossier you a a a day how do you say that you a day perfume all day perfume I don't know how to say it I don't speak French look how cute this is this is their iconic Packaging's iconic. I've seen it literally everywhere and I love it. I ordered this without ever smelling it. So I had no clue what it actually smelled like before I bought it. And I honestly think it smells really, really good. I sprayed it when I first got it. I was like, oh, I like this. It smells really, really good. And my mom was like, oh yeah, I like it too. Like it smells really, really good. And then I let my little sister try it and she goes, that's disgusting. Ew. So I want to say it smells like flowers and pepper had a baby but like not like a disgusting way like like by no means when i say it smells bad i like the way it smells it smells really good to me so i got perfume then the next and last thing i got from glossier was their hot cocoa bomb.com their bomb.coms literally have the best packaging it's so cute i've had so many different flavors of the bomb.com over the years i heard that they changed their formula the packaging let me show you before it was like a little like flat thing but now it's like a slope and smells exactly like swiss miss hot chocolate then moving on to our next little random item probably also the most useful thing on this entire christmas haul i got this little steamer my clothes were always wrinkled for some reason i feel like so i hate ironing hopefully this like keeps my clothes nice and de-wrinkled i guess that's what it does apparently it like steams your clothing to make them like smooth it's actually like, gift my grandparents on my mom's side so thank you then next this is what i was probably most excited about in my entire christmas haul was coffee i told you i was a raging coffee addict okay i got some chamberlain coffee this is their fancy mouse espresso blend i'm not gonna lie the packaging did sell me on this like the packaging of their coffee is so cute and the next one i got was their fluffy lamb vanilla blend look how cute that is and the last one i got from them was their night owl blend night owl owl i aisle that sounded really bad when i said that. so anyways i love my little chamberlain coffee then next up i got some self tan things i love sadie Crowell. she's one of my favorite youtubers and favorite podcast girlies um she's so funny i love her if you don't watch her videos you totally should but she has a self tan brand and she always has the best tan in her videos so i was like let's try it the packaging is i'm obsessed i love to self tan so we'll see if this is good and then to go with it i actually got their little sun kissed application mitt thing which is like a little tanning mitt you stick your hand in it and you like apply the tan now i won't have to scrub my hands with toothpaste after i self tan okay next up we've got the fun little boxes you kind of know what's inside right this is from my aunt and uncle on my mom's side they got me a little amazon gift card here you know me finding the best way to spend this then this is like a box i'm pretty sure i got this box from my grandparents on my mom's side but i just combined all the money for people in it this is from like a bunch of different family members but they got a little chunk of some money really grateful for that and then also for my grandma she gave us our money actually and a little container but also has a bunch of like candies in it then next i got this day styling cream this be like for slick backs i've seen nothing but good reviews about this on tiktok did the packaging win me over maybe can i like have a perfume in this scent actually it smells so good it makes me hungry like the next sephora beauty thing i got was the summer fridays lip balm i am a summer fridays enthusiast like i love summer fridays they recently released this sweet mint flavor though they're so overpriced but they're like worth it honestly in my opinion then the next thing i got was this nars concealer i used the shade cafe a lot all late i want to say it 
It's so good. I actually wore it today to get ready. And then for one of my best friends, she actually got me this hair crimper. I had no clue I was getting this and I was so excited when I got it because, hello, I've always wanted to have a hair crimper and I can crimp my hair. I tried this out the day before Christmas Eve and it actually works really, really well. It's iconic and it's pink. And I love it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the haul portion of this video. Now we're gonna move